Hello, girls. Hopefully I'm on the right place this time. Uh, I was in the wrong group. I was broadcasting to the whole world, and no wonder no one could find me. So let's see if we are in the right place. I should have known, should have known, um, because, and I had no clue that the whole world was watching um, until my sister and my niece showed up and they wrote a comment and uh, that is why, oh my goodness, this is so strange. Anyway, um, now I've got to try, now I can find myself on this computer. I should have known. Um, hey, Linda Wilmuth, good to see you. Sorry I'm so late. I had lots of issues and I was broadcasting to the whole world and it was a disaster because I couldn't get anything to work. Uh, first my, first my, uh, my phone froze, then I got on the wrong whole world group and now I'm back in my private group. This is so, so strange. Anyway, I'm glad you found us. Type something in. Oh, Carla, I see you, and <laughs> I see Linda. I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to actually try doing this to the whole world sometime because I have several people looking for me. Um, that's that's funny. Uh, I should have known. I didn't realize that I was going live to the world, but I did, and then I just deleted it. So anyway, now people, I have friends from Missouri that are looking for me. Oh, goodness, I am really frazzled now this morning, and we sort of have a long broadcast. So I am going to give you a second, and uh, please type some things in. Maybe some other people will find us, even though I am so late, and uh, oh my goodness, this is this has been frazzling. Um, we've been doing this for more than a year, but you never know. You never know when something's going to go wrong and your your phone's going to freeze or whatever happens. Um, today is June 22nd, uh, 2021. And yesterday we had great news. Stamping Up announced, oh, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. Free shipping this Thursday all day long. What a benefit that is. They usually don't do that until Thanksgiving time around Black Friday, but wow, a real treat because our quarter is going to end. The end of June is coming up really fast. And uh, so this is going to help a lot of people out. It's a great time. We have we have our last chance list. This We have one more week of this. We have one more week of our catalog like this. And then we have a brand new catalog, annual catalog. So um, we have a lot to choose from. Plus, don't forget about the clearance rack. Um, that's always fun. So those are all things that uh, are coming up. And that was just a, a super duper announcement, I thought. Um, anyway, that's um, something that, and they really didn't. Then today in the announcements, they didn't even mention it because it was a freestanding announcement yesterday. But one thing that's else that's coming up in one more week is on July 1st, that is the DSP sale, the designer paper sale. And they'll tell us which papers. They usually put about three-fourths of them on sale and we can pick those. Um, and I don't know what the sale will be. It doesn't, hasn't, they haven't told us. Sometimes it's buy two, get one free, buy three, get the fourth one free or something like that. So that's all coming up. And um, there is something else that they're doing next week. It's called uh, Pick Six Wonder. And it's a stamping, it's a, I think it's a Thursday in the United States. It's uh, June 30th at 6 p.m. Sort of getting ready for that July 1st. Um, you're going to just pick some of your own designer paper and craft along. They give you some dimensions and things like that. And there'll be more. That was on our site this morning. So anyway, that is it. I'm going to jump right in. I am so late. Um, please send more thumbs up. Maybe other people will still find us. I don't know if they're going to be able to look. That's, oh goodness. Um, I am so embarrassed about broadcasting to the world and and not sounding very coherent. Anyway, oh, hey, Martina, it's hot in Oregon. Good. Hi, that's pretty unusual, isn't it? Um, it's a nice day here. Okay, here we go. We've got two big projects today. Um, one is going, both of them are going to use book markers in some form or other. 
Um, yes, I know. Isn't that fun? I'm glad Carla and Martina and Linda Wilmuth found us. I bet a lot of people tried and then just gave up because I was basically 10 minutes late. So um, anyway, um, you could, people can always go back and watch it. Anyway, here we go. Um, I'm going to flip the camera down. Here we go. Turn your, close your eyes for a second. And Oh my goodness, these are two of the prettiest cards I think I've ever made in my life. They're, uh, I cased these from Patty Bennett. They were quite quite a, uh, this is just to line up this this morning, but oh, aren't they pretty? There's, I love this seascape. And I'm going to work on that next week a little bit for you. But today we're going to be working with a stamp set called Make It Happen. And this is is was designed by Karen Titus. She lives in Minnesota. She has videos and they're called Karen and Tim. And I, I met her for the first time this year in Hawaii. She's very nice. She's a pretty remarkable woman. She's my age and um, she's been a demonstrator, I think 25 or 29 years. Anyway, um, this is not usually the type of uh, stamp I would buy. But I bought it because I, I saw something that she previewed and they trap, she and her husband travel around with a table in the back of their car all around and visit, go to different coffee shops in different states. They go to different places and meet people. And it's called Make It Happen. It has uh, books in it, coffee, crafting, scissors, lights, plants. Just uh, thank you, thankful for friends like you get crafty. And um, anyway... I'm just sort of, I really had more fun with it than I ever expected. And I want to show you some cards that I've made. This one, and I just added that fun birthday, and this is the bookmark. We're not going to do this one. I think it's gotten stuck in here. There we go. And here's one with the card, with little greeting cards. That was her idea. It's a real easy one, just cornered, rounded stamped on paper and then this little these are simple cards anyway the one we're going to make today is this one so we are using some of that new paper in the um i don't even know what it's called and i'm using it today well i don't know it's that free package at the back of the catalog so well i'm sorry you have to leave carla we're going to be making, oh, this has been sort of a disaster this morning. Sorry about that. Um, this is a freestanding, just a base that has a, just one layer. But we're going to do this pocket and this little bookmark. And we're going to do it in a different color. So, But it's a nice little gift, especially for someone, maybe a birthday or something, or a thank you gift for someone who likes to read. And um, we're going to make that card now. So here are the parts that we're going to have. We're going to do it out of the poppy red and some, I'm just taking this wonderful designer paper. I'm just love, just loving it. Oh, I don't think I have anything written down here. Maybe it's over here. Oh, I see. Here it is. Um, that's what we'll do. Um, we're going to take a base and this is real poppy red and it is five and a half by four and a quarter and it's just one thickness. And we'll take that off. And then we have a white card. Let's see once if I can get my camera. Oh my goodness, I can see now why I was, um, I couldn't find myself on the video. I was in, I was broadcasting. Oh my goodness, this is such a, such an embarrassment. Okay, so the next layer is three and three fourths by five. Turn it this way. Maybe you can take a picture then. You'll get that. And we'll we'll just um, adhere that together. I think it's sort of nice to showcase a little bit of this poppy on here. Get it lined up. There we go. Take that off. And now we're going to do our next layer, um, which is going to be this layer well we're going to do the pool party which i have a shirt on today that to match and um then we're going to do this crisscrossing thing that i'm going to show you how to do so we're going to add a little bit of um 
pool party. I think we'll, we'll add the uh, Coastal Cabana like this. And this one is three and one half by four and three fourths. So we'll put that on. Just like that. And that's a fourth inch. There we go. And now we're gonna to come to the little part. So it's a little different color combination than I had before, but um, I think it will be just fun to show you. Um, then we're gonna, we have some pieces that are three, I think they're, uh, I didn't write that down, three and a half by three and a half. So I just have a bunch of them. We'll see what we like. And I, drew, I just took the colors for this and for the other one, right from these designer papers. This is a great pack. It's one of those hostess ones that's $18, and you it's about three times as big as a normal pack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half diagonally. We're gonna just slice it. So I am going to um, bring in my paper cutter, trimmer, and bring it to my table. We're going to I think I can cut all three layers at the same time. We don't need three, but that does help you um, just like this. I'm going to line up that point. Here, I think I'll turn that over, then you'll be able to see it better. Um, we'll do it like this. I think that's just a little bit easier. Do you see how I've lined the points up in the crack? There we go, like that. And then we have all of these pieces. We can make several cards. Um, very easy that way. Alrighty, and now we'll come here and we're, we can choose. We can put this one down, maybe with that one. What do you think? Do you, or do you like maybe this a little bit more muted, like that? I think that one's probably just a little bit nicer. Well, we'll do that. And so um, what we're going to do is we want to keep this fairly open. So I'm going to use some, I'm going to get my silicone mat out. And, uh, oh, hi, Tess. Glad you found us. Sorry about the fiasco this morning and getting, oh, just, I'm glad you're, but I'm glad you found us. Okay, so we'll put, um, even though I'm running, quite late and I'm a little bit frazzled from all that. Um, not as frazzled as the time I, the, the, the police called, um, when I called 911. But um, you never know what's going to happen on a Facebook Live is what, what I'm saying. Um, you think everything and I try to be highly organized and, uh, um, and then something goes wrong and it all just sort of falls apart. But we just do the best we can. Luckily, we got it fixed, and I. Um, okay, I've got tear tape on there, and now we're going to give that a good little burnish because anytime you're using tear tape, you want to burnish that a little bit. That helps remove the uh, the tape. I like to. This is the way I do it. I take it, take it right from the middle, pull it off. <laughs> Well, I usually do anyway. I may have burnished it too much. We'll see. Um, I'll just throw that right there on the floor for now because my waste basket was bumping my feet, so I moved it. Now it's out of the way. Um, so there we go. Just pull that off like that. And we'll move this here. Okay, so now we'll bring our card back in. And here we are, and we'll go like this. We're going to, I think, oh, I'll put it, I think we'll put the heart one down first. I want to just match up the edges. So, um, just like that. And then we have a pocket in here. And that's pretty much the whole card. Um, we're going to be able to slide a, I love these tags that Stamping Up came out with. Oh my goodness, they have, they are, I have used them a lot and the year just has begun, but I love the sizes. They This is a little squared one. That one is a little bit more rounded, but and they have these little um, 
reinforcing things too, but I haven't even used those yet. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm a little bit of a lazy stamper. So, um, I, I just thought that was more than we needed to do. Okay. So let's, uh, and then I just, uh, for the back, since it's only one layer, it's not a card that we're going to open up. I'm going to just put a square on the back and that's a place to, place to write. And, uh, I know these stitched, I've got lots of things like these stitched uh, squares left over because I used them a lot and I loved them and now they're retired. But So I'm going to use them for a little uh, message box. You could write something on the back. But now let's do our stamping and let's, let's bring out our uh, ink pads. And let's see here. Okay. Can you all see all right? There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to start with a, you know, there are two ways that you could do this. You've got red, and I'm going to bring in my little um, chamois to clean because in between, because we're going to, and I, I was going to do a mask. Um, a mask is where you, See how I've cut out these the mask and put it in my stamp set. I'll show. I'll show you. I, we have time. We we have time. So I will stamp the books first in the top color poppy parade. And there we go. Oh hi Kathy. I'm glad you found me too. Oh what a what a what a morning this has been. I was broadcasting on the wrong place. My, the whole world was watching is what happened. Um, and then I cut her up. So now I'm gonna do the yellow, the bumblebee. And these are all colors that are right in the, uh, the designer paper. And now I'm gonna just go over it like that. Oh, I did the edges, doggone it. I got that on the edges, but anyway, so now we put the mask on the yellow clean the stamp and go on to the green. Oh, I think we'll do the blue next actually. The Bermuda Bay. There we go. There's the Bermuda Bay. Close that one up. And it's a, you know, I think this is a great card if you would do lots of them, you would do all your reds, all your yellows together. And it'd be, you know, you could whip up 10 or 12 markers in no time at all. Um, take up, take our mask off. You can also do this without that mask. It works too, but you have a little bit of overlap, but it's not bad. See, and you just take that mask off and there you go. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about that right there, but um, it'll be okay. Someone maybe won't even notice it. It sort of does bother me. Um, okay, and then we're going to take some of this pretty ribbon. We have here this uh, sheer ribbon. I love this pool party. And I'm just going to cut off a piece. And I'm going to fold it in half and do a half hitch, I think it's called. It's from Girl Scouts. I'm going to put it through that hole and tie a knot. And our bookmark is done. Now, it might, I, what I did not do is I did not use um, thick white. I just used plain basic white, but um, that might be a good idea. I hadn't even thought about that. And because it would be just a little bit more of a substantial bookmark. And anyway, it just fits right in here is the pocket. Like this. And there we have our card. If the whole, Carla said, if the whole world were, were watching you, I'd become a million dollar demonstrator. Well, that, maybe that's true. But, oh my goodness. I, uh, I, just, I need to start broadcasting and doing a video for more people. Because I'm getting quite a few people following me on my business channel in, in Facebook. And I need to do that. So I just stamped uh, in the, uh, this in the color. This is an angel stamp from Stamping Up with the Scissors. And says stamping up, and I just did it so in the back of the card, and you can sign your initials there, whatever you want. So, and that is the first card we have today. They're very, very easy, but and sort of fun. And that's called Make It Happen. 
and it's in our May, in our annual catalog. I'm not sure what page because I marked it. Now it's over there. And but anyway, we'll um, we'll move on to the next card. But that's fun. So which one do you like better? Which one do you like better? This is the polished pink. No, it's flamingo. It's it's flirty flamingo. Sorry. This one is flirty flamingo. And these patterns are all in that designer paper. And the other one is the poppy red. Do you like the the pink or the red? Which one do you like? Very fun card. Um, I think. Very fun. So let me just move these things out of our way and we will start the next card. Okay. These are the cards and they are pretty fun, spectacular cards. They are called a tower pinwheel. I've never made one until the other day. Do you see how it does all these things? I'm using Whiskey Business, the stamp. Um, I love, love, love this stamp. I have sold and many of these, not this card, but many cards that I've made with the Whiskey Business stamp. And um, go out, wait, let's hear once. There we go. Um, but I have any, when I was in Florida, Terry's uh, cousin, well, her, it's her cousin's wife, lives in Kentucky and she's she bought every whiskey card that I had at my house there because Kentucky is known for its whiskey and she just thought that birthday cards were fabulous. And I think she would really like this one. It's really sort of fun. I didn't really know what I was doing. Now you can, um, Brenda Quintana is the person that I learned this from. She has a video on YouTube. Brenda Quintana is Q-U-E-R-T-A-I-N, I think. Um, she's in one of my business groups, My Creating Success. And uh, here's another one with the bookmarks. So these are the bookmarks. Um, so they made, you know of a man. These all fold flat and will all go into an envelope like that. Isn't that cool? Isn't it? It's very, very fun. Anyway, Brenda Quintana challenged us in our... Um, in my in our business group to make one of these and she gave us her video but you can find her video on YouTube so this is what we're going to do now I did make these out of cardstock just plain basic white cardstock and now we're going to do one in um, out with the designer paper because and I've not done that yet but she said it really helps keep it a little thinner so now this is where you may want to take pictures let me get a, a um, it's a, we're going to show you the tower first. The tower is, uh, I'm going to move us in a little bit. There we go. Well, I am sorry that I was so late and more people didn't find us today. But our tower is five and three fourths by four and a quarter. And then we're going to score it. So we're going to score it at three and three fourths, one and a half, two and a fourth, and three. Now, this is Brenda's method of making this card. However, I'm gonna bring, you could, I'm gonna bring my score board here. Um, I'm gonna put it this way. And we're going to make some score. There's also Linda Heller on YouTube has a wonderful video, although I just couldn't try, I tried doing her method and I just had sort of, it was just too confusing. Hers are one inch apart, which is a better measurement. This is, um, these are three fourths of an inch. So I have all these marks now, if you can see on there, and we're just going to fold those. Just, you're gonna make a little, like this. I'm going to move that scoreboard out of the way and uh, just give this a good crease. That's what you want to make sure that everything is creased. That's quite important on this tower. Okay, and there we go. I think we're doing good time-wise. And then we're just going to make this go around like that and it'll stand up. And then we're going to attach pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive 
Let me find my silicone mat and I'm going to put some adhesive on here. Just going to use my regular snail. Oh, it's not snail, it's called seal. A uh, seal. And uh, just going to meet, have it meet up. And make, you know, we're just making a little cube like that. And then it, it folds down too. See, like that. Okay, now the next part is this. Uh, we want to attach these wings like that. So I'm going to add wings, and those wings are going to be two and three fourths. You're going to need, actually you're going to need three of these, two and three fourths by four and a quarter. And what we're going to do is take our, our my paper clips off first. I'm going to line these up. So what we're going to do is got, I've got three of them. And now one of them is going to be right here. So next we're going to do this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adhesive right here on that. I'm going to attach it like that. So now we have two done. Now I'm going to do another one. Just like that. We've got three done. I'm going to do one more right here. And there we go with our fourth one. And now we have four of these wings see that? And this is the paper called In Good Taste. I was so happy that they carried that over. So this is the hardest part of the whole card, what you just saw. And now the rest is just cutting pieces and stamping. I stamped a bunch of things and, uh, um, and I just cut papers and I cut them the same size. Um, two and three fourths by four and a quarter in the same paper. I have all these cuts so I can make lots of them. Once you've made one or two, they're pretty fast. Anyway, those are all ready to go for another, um, for us, actually. And um, we'll, we'll choose it. We only need three of them. So I think we'll do this one. Let's see once. We'll do a dark one. I like this one, too. We can do a tweed. Let's see once. We'll... We'll see what, what, if that works. Um, and now we're just going to attach these to, and I'm just going to do it sort of randomly, whatever I think looks good. Um, I'm going to put I'm going to attach it like this. And I, I would start with the there we go, like that. We've got that one already. Now we'll do this one. I think we're going to do this dark one on that. I hope you will think about this. I would first go and watch. Um, I like Linda Heller's methods of teaching, um, usually very, very well. And and but her video was quite confusing to me so i think brenda quintana's is much longer brenda's a little bit she lives out on the east coast she's a, um from canada originally and uh, but she did a good job of with the directions and and all that too so i think we'll just do this so i don't know maybe uh you, you decide there are more people that are doing these videos now on top. There aren't, aren't many out there. So we've got one, we've got this one done, that one done, that one, and this one is good by itself. And now we have to do these little side pieces. And the side pieces are, are just uh, a little bit different. Again, the same. I have a lot of this paper. I really do like it. It's, now these are two inches by four and a quarter, these wings. So two inches. So you want your card to measure, I think five and a half or something. Um, and then you just sort of say like, well, gee, gee, do I like that? I, that's sort of nice looking or 
or do I want this to be together? You just, yeah, or maybe this. Oh, I think I'll have, I'll do that one because that matches. And then we have almost like a full page. Um, and everyone is going to be slightly different. But there, we have that. And now we have, um, let's see what's here. I think we'll do, I like that together. So we'll put that one on. Just like this. And now with this, uh, we, we're almost done here. So we could add the tweed like that. Um, I don't really like that. I don't like that. Um, let's see. We don't want the pink. We could put the wood like that. I think I'll add the tweed. We haven't done any other tweeds in there. So we'll... That's, I, this is one of my favorites right there that I'm putting the adhesive on, but we don't want everything to be the same. So we're putting that on like that. You can always, like there's a little bit of white right there and we can trim that off. I like to take a big scissors and do that. We'll do that at the end. Um, so we have all of our sides decorated. Do you see how fast that was? It wasn't too bad, was it? And believe me, the second one and the third one are much, much easier than the first one. Now, one thing about Linda Heller, she gave, she showed an example of making a five by seven. That's a little bigger card and it holds more, but she does it sort of like a totally different method. So now let's do some stamping and some coloring. And I have a tray of, um, I'm going to set that over there for a moment. I have a little plastic tray. It was in my bathroom, and I um, I just thought this would be a good use of it. So I have some little, I have some pieces um, that I've, are plain white that I just have, and then I have some that I've already done that I can color. You know, I, I like to take things that I can color, like if I'm on a trip or on an airplane or uh, something like that, and then I've got some pieces to make a, just like we did before. I did it the same way, and uh, we can make a, we can put a, a little pocket like that or something, whichever place we'd like it. I think I'll put it right there, same way. And um, this time I think I'm going to use some uh, Tombow, because the other glue takes, takes a while. So we'll just do a thin... And this takes a while to get the glue out sometimes. Uh, I always keep a pin handy. I keep the pin right on my desk and uh, just as close to the edge as I possibly can. That way, because we want to keep, we want to save room for our, our um, bookmarker to get in there. So we'll put that on. Well, I guess we'll put it on just right here. Does it make any difference? We'll let that dry and now we'll come in there and stamp. But we'll put it, we're going to make a we're gonna stamp in black memento and uh, bring our stamps in here. We've got some little tags. I, let me see if I'm focused now. I'm a little bit too close, I guess. There we go. I'm going to stamp the happy birthday on one of these little tags because I think they're just sort of fun. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to move a little faster because I was so late in starting, but okay. I like this. Sending you an old fashioned birthday card. If, um, I don't know how many of you have ever had an old-fashioned drink. It's called an old-fashioned. They're very popular in Wisconsin, where I'm from. And uh, my brother-in-law, AJ, makes a really fabulous old-fashioned. Um, you, It's hard to find old-fashions in this part of the world, other places. And uh, then we're going to stamp a few more things. Um, but in, And bourbon makes a really... It's really you can make you can make old fashions out of whiskey, any types of whiskey. Bourbon is sort of a good one. Um, and here's another uh, 
your top shelf. Oh, that looks like it's a little, that paper is a, and I just would cut it off with uh, my snips. Give it a, like that. So we've got one piece done. And I like, I like stamping several of these at one time. Then you have um, something to work with because you don't always know. Um, here's one, this is sort of a fun one. Straight up, you're the best. That's a good one, I think. And let's do another one, uh, your top shelf. And that one's going to go on a skinny piece of white paper, basic white. Here we go. Hope I've got two of them there. Your top shelf, I like that one a lot. And I'm gonna make just what I just, I don't know, I just sort of made this up. I just like all these, I love the words in this set. If you don't have this, this is a, a fabulous set to own, I think. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Cheers, um, straight up, you're the best. Let's see, let's, let's find another little tag and we'll get a couple other, the cant, a canter out and uh, we'll find some little pieces now. Some of the little pieces that are in our, my tray. Oh, here's a good one, we'll use that one. And we'll put, um, I want to use, put that, uh, the whiskey on that. Um, let's put, let's see, oh, I know. Being a dad is, you know, this is a great birthday card, I think. And you could, you know, being a dad is whiskey business. This tag is from that punch that we have in the catalog, a great punch. Um, it was new last year. So we got a bunch of things there. And then let's stamp, um, on one of our bookmark, we're going to do the big decanter. I love the definition in this stamp set. I love the etching is what I love. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And uh, we can color that. We'll let that dry for a second, then I'll show you how we color it. And uh, I don't think I have any white paper over here to color on, but um, we will do a couple of the orange or, or lemon rinds like that. And we'll do a couple of the cups, not cups, the glasses. The... There we go. And it just is a, a super set, I think. Um, let's see once, and let's find our, I don't know what happened to my cover. Oh, there it is. There it is over on the other table. See, I'm, I have, this is my little workspace, and then I have a table here with all the supplies, because you have to have everything handy. And then over here on the chair, I have more things. Um, it's, you know, you just have to do what you do to make things handy and compact while you're working. Uh, okay, now let's get our markers out here, our blends, and we will do some coloring. And this is... I'm going to put my reading glasses on for a moment so I can show you how, to, how I color. Um, because there are just a couple little tricks. I like to use either Balmy Blue or Seaside Spray. Seaside Spray is uh, retired, but I love that color. And Balmy Blue is pretty close too, but that works well for the glass. So the glass, the glass, you want to sort of outline that glass a little bit. Um, and this is just what I do. I'm going to do it really quickly, right along the edge of the glass. Um, just very quickly like that, right down the middle. Wherever stamping up has given us some etching, I'm putting in some blue. Like that. Right along there. Right along here. Right there's etching. This is all etching. Let's see, I'll move you in a little bit. There we go. And... Uh, just like that, that blue etching is just, now obviously I would take a little bit more time than I'm taking right now. Um, but I do the blue first, and, and then I move on from there. And this is what I do. I don't know, you can do whatever, there are all kinds of videos out there on coloring the whiskey. 
Um, I use the mango, the dark and the light mango, and I use um, some, I, I use, sometimes I use Daffodil Delight, but I'm gonna use the mango. I'm gonna start with that first, and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle, sort of, like that. Um, and the same in the glass. I'm gonna just put a little bit like that. I want that glass, that's the, that's, you want this to have sort of an amber look to it. And the, excuse me, and then the cinnamon cider is a really good color for whiskey. And uh, what we'll do next is outline it in, um, I'm gonna take the thin end and I'm just going to go through and this, sort of outline it. Like that. And so that's the dark. And then I'm gonna come in and use the light. I'm going too fast. But now I'm gonna make little circles to sort of blend this all. Just like that. I'm gonna give a little bit, this, this needs to be a little brown up there with it. Um, decanter, oops, went outside the lines there. Um, and now I'm gonna come back in with my mango and I'm gonna blend and blend and blend, keep blending. I think this is, I meant to grab the light one, but I grabbed the dark one. Let's see, one's here, here we go, this is the mango. Um, just gonna keep blending it in. Let's see what I'm getting. A little bit more of this. Like that. And again, blending it, getting those edges. is not very good unfortunately but um, it will just get it all sort of blended there we go that gives it a nice little amber look let's take our blue again and just uh, let's reinforce that line right through there well, this, these lines can be blue Anyway, you get the idea. And then a the little bit of Wink of Stella makes a big difference too um, on that whiskey. Now, I am not wild about that at all, but I have another one that I took time with, and this one is much nicer, much nicer. But you get the idea, and we'll move that one out of the way. Um, and I want to take some of my my ribbon that I have. It's that... You know, we have that suede ribbon that is wonderful in our Stamping Up catalog. I'm so glad that they continued this one. It's um, it's called Early Espresso um, Faux Suede, and it's very, very nice. And I'm going to, you know, it's a little heavy, but um, again, I'm going to put it through. This would probably be good to have a reinforcer on. Put that through like that, and then pull it like this. Pull. There we go. And then we've got a nice little bookmark again for a man. And we'll give that a little bit of a haircut and we're good. So now we can put that on our, in our card like this. And it'll just slide in. Hopefully I didn't glue that down. Let's see once here. It's a little tight. There we go. It'll fit just perfectly. And the same with the glasses. You have to fussy cut those out. And um, then you're going to just decorate any way you want. Um, let's see once. I think I think on this one we're going to do, we're just going to do some, some of these words that we stamped. And we'll give that a little bit of a, we'll get our silicone mat in here and we'll just put some of these on. 
your top shelf. I, I like that. I think we'll put them like that. And cheers to you. We can cut those apart. I do. Cheers to you like that. And maybe um, let's, we want to keep a few um, for the other pages too. We want to keep you want to keep things fairly flat because there's, it's a you know it's a bulky card. And being a dad is whiskey business. That's cute, I think. Um, straight up, you're the best. Let me get a uh, scissors and just cut that as close as can be. But if you take a long scissors, you know, a long bladed scissors like I have. This is a really old one. But um, a long blade is better for cutting a straight line. You cannot cut a straight line with a scissors, like a small snips. But it's much easier with a with a long long bladed scissors. You can use your paper trimmer too, of course. Um, okay, and let's put that on someplace. And we'll just put it right there. And then I think we'll just put a tag, so maybe they can write something. You know, a, a person could write um, a message. This one looks good, I think. I think this one's from the hippie, from the hippo. I was thinking hungry, hungry hippo, but it's the hippo greetings or something that <clears throat> has a lot of neat uh, dyes. So that's on that. We still have to decorate. We still have to, we've got a couple pages, three, one, this one's done. This one's done. That one's pretty done, but we need a little bit more on this one. And I think what we'll do is I've got some glasses that I've colored. See, this is the way it should look, sort of amber. And you can see the blue line on there, too. Um, we'll do sort of a cheers, like, like that. And um, I don't know, we could, I have a, some of this orange rind. We could maybe put right there but you can you could just fill in more things and put more areas it would be nice to have a picture a photo or something um but anyway you just fill it up with whatever you want um as much coloring as you want to do and so then what you have left is a project that looks like these i'm going to flip the camera up and i'll then we can see it better Okay, here we go. Now you can tell me, you can tell me which one you like. So this is, this is the one we just finished doing. Here's, I like the way I did this one. I like the way I did the pocket right there and then the glasses next to it on that one. This one, I just kept things straight. This one, I did another bookmark and the cheers and, uh, so this card, I, I stamped, uh, I think this is my first one. I did the whiskey, decanter, and glass together. Oh, I forgot the old-fashioned happy birthday. Maybe. I don't know what I did with that, what I stamped it. Um, anyway, it you know, when you're, you can just do whatever you want. They're really, really, really fun. So how do you like that? Do you think you're going to try that? I hope you do. They're really, but I'd recommend going back. You can watch my video again, uh, or, you know, fast. Oh, it's, it looks like we've, uh... <gasps> oh, thanks. Somehow it said I lost connection, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so we have, I now have three birthday cards done and enough pieces for more. And I hope that you will uh, give this a try. It's really quite fun. The hardest part is making that tower, and it's really easy after you make the first one. So you, Brenda Quintana is how I learned that, and Linda Heller also has another video. And don't forget Thursday, free shipping. Isn't that the best news? I was like totally, totally amazed. Oh, I, I wanna show you something too. Uh, this is my little vacuum cleaner for my table. And it just vacuum, I meant to show it when I was down because it vacuums up it, when you, it just moves like this. I just got this from Amazon and it sweeps things 
all the little crumbs and dust and lint and paper bits. Really a fun little toy. Grandkids thought it was pretty cool last night when they were over. Um, but that's my little vacuum cleaner that I meant to show you. It was back tucked away. So anyway, don't forget free shipping and uh, make the most of that. The day. You have to have $50. So $50 is the minimum for that. So, and I also have a cookies and cards and coffee this Thursday. So those people will get free shipping too, of course. Alrighty. Thanks girls. So sorry that I was so late and so mixed up and half the world saw me. Uh, but anyway, I feel better when it's just you guys. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a good week. Bye.